in this one we are looking at some very quick questions on geometric sequences. Now, if you download the questions from the description below the video, you also get this revision sheet, which is also part of my brand new 50 page revision booklet which you can also get to from the description down below. So geometric sequences are ones where we multiply by the same amount to get from term to term. Alright then, first up which of these is a geometric progression? So progression is the same as sequence. So the first one uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We are adding 2 each time. That is arithmetic. The next one, 2, 3, 5, 8, 12. That is what we call quadratic because we're not multiplying by the same number but the differences are changing. Then we have 2, 6, 18, 54. In that, we are multiplying by 3 each time, so that is geometric. And then the last sequence there, uh, 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, we are adding 4 each time, so that one again is arith. Okay then, next up, a geometric progression starts for 16. Work out the next term. So, to work out what we are multiplying by, we do 16 divided by 4, which gives us 4. So the next term is 16 times 4, which is 64. Next up, now this one is higher only, so S is a geometric progression, given that a root x minus 1, 1 and root x plus 1 are the first three terms of S, find x. Okay, so quite a tricky looking one, but we know because this is geometric, we can do root x minus 1 times a number and we get 1. Now we don't know what that number is, but we know when we multiply 1 by the same number we get root x add 1. Now that then means what we are multiplying by is root x add 1. That then tells us that root x minus 1 times root x add 1 is 1. So if we expand the brackets, root x times root x is x. Uh, then we get minus 1 times root x and plus 1 times root x, so they cancel. So we, we then just get minus 1, and then that is equal to 1. So x is equal to 2.
Karen, but we, we want to show that the fifth term of us is 7 at 5 root 2. So, now that we know what x is, we know the first three terms. So we have root 2 minus 1, 1, and root 2 plus 1. Now the thing that we are multiplying by, which is called the common ratio, is root 2 add 1. So, to get the fourth term, we're going to do root 2 add 1 times root 2 add 1. Now if we expand that, root 2 times root 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. And then we're going to get, oh sorry, 1 root 2 add 1 root 2. So that's 2 root 2. So that's 3 add 2 root 2. So that's the fourth. To get the fifth, we're going to do uh, 3 plus 2 root 2. Times uh, root 2 add 1. So I'm going to use table to do that. So we're going to have 3 and 2 root 2 across the top and then root 2 add 1 down the side. So 3 times root 2 is 3 root 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Root 2 times 2 root 2 is 2 root 2 root 2. Now, root 2 root 2 is 2. So we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we have 1 times 2 root 2, so that's 2 root 2. So together, we have 3 add 4, which is 7. And then we have 3 root 2 add 2 root 2, that is 5 root 2. Okay then guys, that's all the questions I could find for now on geometric sequences, so I hope it's helped. Remember to check out the sequences playlist linked down below for exam questions on arithmetic, Fibonacci and quadratic sequences. Also, I'm filming this during the coronavirus crisis. So, for everyone watching this, I really hope you are safe, healthy, and looking after yourself and your family. Take it easy, guys. Take care.